Hello, hello, my lovely, beautiful people. Welcome to the Creative Lab. Today's video is about on how to create one of the most used UI trends in 2022 and is expected to be continued this way. Glass morphism. On this tutorial, I will walk you through step by step on how to create glass morphism on Figma. I will do this in a slow, medium speed because it is important to not miss out on elements used. However, if this is not your speed, you can always go further or backwards if it's needed. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help. Alright, let's get into business. Alright, so this is an example of what we're going to create. It's not going to be exactly, precisely the same. However, it's going to look pretty similar. So, I'm starting off creating a frame. The dimensions that I'm using is not the dimensions of a website. Um, however, if you would like to do this, then you could, oh, you have a, you can use the dimensions of a website. You have it on the left side. Um, okay, and after that, I'm creating a rectangle on top using the same dimensions, which is uh, 1,294 and 791. Also, I'm cutting off the edges. Um, on our website, so you do have a pointed edges, um, but here is just a suggestion of presentation. Okay, you don't really have to do it. That's just me. All right, so now, um, using the background, purple background, and I'm going to create several circles, and just copying the same colors and circles, and then I just modify the sizes of these. Selecting the rectangle, and I'm going to add a color background. We're going to use gradients of two colors, at the top purple, and at the bottom a lighter color, which is going to be pink. I'm selecting all of these circles and I'm going to add a layer blur of 80 and background blur of 4. Yeah. That looks pretty good. I'm selecting that circle because it's not quite a circle, it's more of a flat uh, shape. And I'm just adjusting it to something similar to the example. For the card, I am going to create a rectangle. I'm not using the dimensions of a card, however, you can um, go for that as well. Um, and then I am going to select it and use radial and white colors. I'm going to place it directly. Change the transparency by 70% and then um, the card by the 70 and then I like it on 33 I like the edges quite round and then from blur and drop, drop shadow I'm adding a white stroke, size 1. Now we're creating the bar at the bottom of the credit card. So I'm going to create a rectangle and then I'm pressing enter and I'm moving the mouse to adjust it. It is on 33, same as on the top, so it looks part of the credit card. Selecting the rectangle, I'm going to add some color gradients of three colors, black, white, and black so that will give a shiny effect to the credit card now i'm creating a shadow for the card so it looks that is so it stands out right so i'm going to create a circle and yeah flatten the circle and i'm going to use a solid color and i'm going to use an effect Okay, I'm using layer blur of 40 and I'm placing this right at the bottom of the credit card. Okay. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to use text by the company of the bank. Um, in this case, I'm writing banker. You can use any name. I'm writing four numbers of four digits. Um, and just remember to please don't use your own credit card details, okay, just for safety. And okay, I'm using black and south, and then just valid through the month and year and name. You can use yeah your own name if you wish or another name. And now um, here we have the chip. Um, I've used this from Figma community. I've and I just copy and paste it. Uh, same with the contactless sign. And now I'm just checking. So pixel perfect. I'm just checking everything looks consistent on its place. Now I'm creating the circles. Yeah, I'm just copying it and then moving to the dimensions that I want. Uh, as I said before, it's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be pretty similar. And then I'm going to select a circle and use linear color with um, pink. Yeah, playing with pink and dark purple. Mm -mm. I'm also going to point this into the direction of the card. So that gives an effect like is at the background and that's the shade of it. So I'm just going to do these with all the rest. To give this 3D dimensional effect, we are going to use a background blur. So I'm selecting the balls and I was thinking of leaving a couple of them so they look like they are in front instead of all of them at the background. I might modify, I'm just playing around with it and let's see how it looks. Creating another circle to create a shadow between the card and the ball to create this effect. I am using smooth layer blur. Okay, so seven looks pretty nice. Level transparency.
I'm creating two circles of 35 and using linear color on one purple and on the other one blue. Okay, so now we're going to start with the text. I am um, okay, so I'm leaving a space of 50, 75, and 65 between each one, and then I'm just going to copy paste the text from the example. Um, so as you can observe here, I'm using a different typography here. So for the payment for the title, I'm using this one, and for the menu, I'm using Inter. So we're almost finished. Um, now I'm going to use for the buttons, I'm going to create three rectangles of 175, 40. You can see here I'm leaving less space between them. Well, and drop a shadow for all of them, those three, and also for the letters inside. And on the login, I am using transparency because I would like the page to the website, um, the sign up to stand out more than the login. We're done. We've done this amazing website using glass morphies. Ta-da! Thanks for watching. I'm pleased to share my knowledge with you. If you have any questions, just leave out a comment below. I'm more than happy to help you out. If you like this video and you would like to be notified on any video that I release, hit the subscribe button right here. Thanks again and I hope to see you on the next one.